Well, one of the features of the Southland Stags squad for 2018 announced last week was the return of Taylor Adams after three years over in Australia. Mate, welcome back. Uh, talk us through how you've ended up back in a maroon jersey this year. Yeah, thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Um, it's kind of funny. It just, it just kind of popped up uh, out of nowhere. I was probably uh, mid-season um, with the Rebels over in Melbourne and uh, got a call from my agent who had been talking to um, Jason Carwai and then got a call from um, Jason and, you know, just seen this if I was interested in coming back and, and where my head was at with it. So kind of just started from there. And once I got the call, I started thinking about it a bit. And, uh, you know, something that really appealed to me to come back and play Mitre 10 and no better opportunity than come down to the place that uh, gave me my first crack at uh, professional rugby, I guess. Yeah, no doubt about that. So, so fill the gaps in for us, mate, in terms of these uh, last three years. We, we know, of course, that you went over there in, uh, in 2015, we, most notably with the Rebels uh, this year. What, what, what happened in between? Yeah, so I left um, Invercargill and went over to Sydney. Um, and then over there, they've, they've got a provincial competition called the NRC, which they're trying to set up like the Mitre 10 Cup, but it just hasn't quite got the funding and, and systems in place yet. So I went, and played, I went and played that and then moved on to the Shoot Shield, which is a club competition in Sydney, which is um, a really strong competition. So that's, that's probably like the main uh, comp in Australia. So I played that for uh, two seasons and then... Uh, off the back of that, um, I, I managed to have a good season last year and I, I got a, a couple of awards, like MVP for the shoot shield and, and point scorer. So, um, yeah, from there, I, the, the Rebels just uh, picked me up and, and I was lucky enough to get a, a contract with them. Now, of course, you went away as a nine. You're coming back as, as a ten primarily, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm pretty much all ten now. I guess uh, if it was really needed, I could fill in nine, but more, I'm more of a ten, ten fifteen now, as you see. So, so talk us through the changes there. Obviously, you know, obviously in terms of positionally, but but also in terms of uh, mindset from your point of view. I mean, what what prompted that change? Uh, it was a bit of circumstances. Like we we had another guy coming over from Auckland who I went to school with. I was playing for our club team, and he was an out and out nine. He played a little bit for the Blues and for Tonga, um, and we didn't really have a ten at the club. Um, and I had played ten here and there, so you know I was comfortable. Um, shifting out there and then once I started playing there I just saw the game differently and just gave me a little bit more time on the ball and time to bring a running game out um, a different kind of kicking game and I just started to enjoy it and um, enjoy being that link player between the uh, you know the backs and, and you know my half back and him with the forward so um, it was half circumstance and then that kind of changed into me wanting to be a 10. Uh, so, so I mean, if we compare the Taylor Adams that left in 2015 to the one coming back in the 2018 edition, I mean, what's changed from you? Because there's a lot of, you know, growing up just literally, I suppose, in that in that time, but also I'm I'm guessing maturing from a rugby perspective as well. Yeah, 100%. I think um, just it's going to be a much more confident Taylor Adams, I think. Uh, when, I, when I was first here, you know, I was quite young, um, just new to the setup and that, and I kind of think I just went along with the journey and kind of didn't put myself out there so I think you know obviously being in Australia by myself has helped me grow a lot as a person and then just um, you know learning a new role between rugby being in a super rugby environment I think I've just matured as a player um, in terms of like my understanding of the game and um, you know what to what to do in certain in certain places so I think that's just going to play a, a big factor and what I'm looking to bring to the, the stags this year especially with quite a, um, a young squad so yeah, I think I think just all around, you know, a bit more confidence and something that's just going to bring a lot of energy and, and look to, um, you know, play play with a bit of fun and enjoyment. Yeah, good stuff. So your Rebels experience, I mean, tell us a little bit about that. You obviously literally came within a hair's breath of, of actually making the uh, making the playoffs. We probably don't need to um, spend too much time talking about that because I know how frustrating that would have been at the end. Yeah, definitely. Like, we, we had plenty of opportunities. We, we needed to win one of our, one of our last three games. Um, and we were up against the Waratahs and managed to lose that. They got a couple of lucky intercepts, and then on paper, we probably should have beaten the Reds, and we just didn't perform well, and then obviously it was going to be tough coming down to Dunedin to play the Highlanders, and um, you know they, they got us in that last 10 minutes, and then the results didn't go away, so you know it was, it was really disappointing. Obviously, we wanted to be in, the, in playoff contentions, but I think it's a promising sign for the club. You know, we, we had a lot of new players, new staff, and, and to go that close, um, you know, I think it's a good platform that was laid for the, for the next few years. 
Um, so in terms of, you know, rugby in Melbourne, I mean, give us that sort of, we know what a sports mad town Melbourne is, you know, and I've been there and I've seen, you know, probably eight pages in the newspaper of AFL coverage and about a half a page of rugby and rugby league, you know, so, I mean, yeah, do, do, right. do, do, yeah do, do you, how does it, how does it fit, fit in the grand scheme of things, obviously, in Melbourne from a Rebels point of view? Uh, yeah, well, it, it, it is hard to compete, uh, especially with the AFL, uh, just because that, that's the sport in Melbourne, also the funding, um, you know, the advertising they get. Uh, but to be fair, I think this year, um, the way we played, we started to win some games. We bought, um, you know, we drew more of a crowd to our games. I think we had the one of the largest crowds in Rebel history this year. And I think it also helped having the Wallabies and uh, Island play in Melbourne as well. It just got it got the game on notice a bit more. So it's always going to be hard to compete. Um, I think in Melbourne and and with the like with the Storm as well. I think they find that um, quite hard to compete with. But I think uh, you know in terms of growing the game, we've definitely done that in in Melbourne a bit more this year, and we try to get the community and, and clubs and kids involved as much as we could, just so we can just broaden their horizon. And um, I think it'll come with time, but I think we're off to a good start that with that. Have you done a uh, Aussie Rules game at the MCG? I have. I've been to a couple actually. I've been to the Origin there, which was about oh. eighty five thousand people, which is unreal. Um, and did, did two uh, AFL games, which is which was uh, an experience in itself. <laughs> and just to see how passionate and crazy those supporters are, you know, um, it's actually quite nice to see and how involved in the game they are. Yeah, and, and a final word on the Staggies themselves this, uh, this year. Of course, you're, you're on the road to uh, to Amaru uh, this morning, actually, to, to, of course, take on North Otago in a pre-season game. I mean, uh, what's your take of your initial thoughts of the squad for 2018? I think uh, there's plenty of, of promise in there. There's, there's a young group who probably haven't played a lot at a high level. Um, so I think with that just comes, you know, a lot of fresh energy and willingness to learn, which is which is awesome and what you need because it's, it's about everyone buying in and wanting to play for the Stags in that jersey. So I think to, uh, this morning is going to be a great start for us um, just to get our campaign underway uh, with this preseason. Hopefully from there we can take a few learnings out of it and just build on there for our first game against Hawks Bay. Good stuff, man. Hey, listen, well, great to catch up. Do appreciate it. Great to have you back, uh, too. We'll look forward to keeping in touch during the season, eh? Awesome. Thanks for that, mate.